were now masters of the ship. The crew surrendered? Granddaddy said that Red Rackham called Sir Francis the King's dog. A pirate hunter sent to reclaim their hard-won plunder. Why would I waste my time on rum, tobacco, molasses, and dates when you have a more valuable cargo on board? Where is it? You'll have to kill me first. Not first, no. I'll start with your men! To save his men, he would give up the secret cargo. And where was it? Yardarm. But they didn't reckon on one thing. Sir Francis was a haddock. And a haddock always has a trick up his sleeve. That he hurls himself forward. On the pirates? Like that? Unarmed? No. No, on a bottle of rum rolling on the deck, and he opens it up and puts it to his lips, and... And then he stops. This is no time for drinking, he says. I need all my wits about me. With that, he puts down the bottle, and... Yes, yes, sir. he puts down the bottle, and... Uh, and he sees it's a cutlass. Then he makes his way to the ship's magazine, where they keep all the gunpowder. And I shot. You dog, you blow the sky high. Oh, come on, then. Let's have you. Not this time. Oh! <laughs> 
Captain, what is it? How could I be so blind? What are you talking about? This isn't just about the scrolls or, or the treasure that went down with the ship. It's me. It's me he's after. You'll suffer a curse upon you and your name, Haddock. He wants vengeance. Come back and face me. Hurry, Tintin. What? We're out of time. Captain!